This video will show you how to model a gravity dam in CADAM 3D. After that, you have defined your foundation profile. Simply click on the gravity dam button. You have a 2D representation in the X and Y direction of the foundation profile at this point. Using your mouse wheel, you can zoom in, zoom out. The left button you can, by clicking and holding the left button, you can pan. And by double clicking, you just restore the general view of the profile. The first segment created must be connected to the upstream point of the foundation. The user will therefore need to define the perimeter of the gravity dam by processing from the upstream point to the downstream point of the foundation. As for the definition of the foundation, the generation of the perimeter of the gravity dam is done by means of the four segments available, either a linear segment, an arc of circle, a power equation, or a polynomial. The last segment must be linear and should be defined by using the closed perimeter. This close, this button will close the perimeter of the gravity dam on the downstream point of the foundation. Now let's proceed with the segmentation. So, as previously uh, said, you have access to four type of segment. I'll just proceed with linear segments. First segment is starting from the upstream side and then I'll use by increment. I'll use an increment of x of 1 and in the y direction of 10. So I have a bit of inclination here. As you can see, the uh, graphical here, display of the gravity section, is readjusting um, according to your segmentations. I'll add another segment. And I'll proceed like this until I'm pretty much done with my gravity section. If you try to close your sorry, if you try to close the last segment directly by adding a segment and by specifying the coordinate of your uh, foundation downstream point, the software will tell you that you cannot do that because the new segments penetrates or get in contact with the foundation. This has to be done using the close per meter like this. Now the gravity section is pretty much done. You can set up the width or the section depth of your section. And what is left to do now is define rotation points and define the upstream, crest, and downstream. Let's proceed with the downstream rotation point. Damage at the downstream side, mainly due to thermal seasonal effects, can cause damage as a thirst at a certain depth. The user can therefore, in this, eventually consider a point of rotation other than the downstream point of the foundation. This point of rotation is used exclusively for the calculation of the downstream overturning safety factor. I can put that 19.5 here. Okay. Um, let's proceed now with the upstream, crest, and downstream definition. Let's click on the upstream segments. You may want to consider only certain segments in the calculation of wet surfaces on the upstream side by selecting them. Otherwise, CADAM 3D will choose which segments are potentially in contact with the upstream phase. So I will select segment one and two and then I click OK. 
I can now define my crest. In the event of, of a, an overflow of the crest, CADAM 3D must be able to identify which segments define the crest. As for the definition of the upstream segment, the definition of the crest segment is the same. A segment can be either associate with one of the upstream or downstream phase or to the crest or remain non-associated. If the user does not define any segment for the crest, CANAM 3D will not proceed with the calculation of the effort generated by an overflow. So my crest is defined by segment 3 here. And then for the downstream segments, pretty much as the same of the upstream, you may want to select your own segments, otherwise CADAM will choose which segments are potentially in contact with the downstream side. If you click Compute Volume, you have this information window telling you what is the volume of your section according to the section depth and the profile, and what is the center of mass. And you are done. A gravity section is now defined. That ends that video.